What's up guys and girls, my name is Super123, but before I start today's video, I just want to quickly thank Gigi1230 for allowing me to upload this video, it's really appreciated, and I hope you guys enjoy what I have to talk about. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about multiplayer gameplay expectations and multiplayer expectations in general, and then the police in GTA 5, like how they're going to react to things, etc. Alright, so most of us know that Rockstar are actually meant to be releasing some multiplayer gameplay pretty soon as they did kind of say when they released the official gameplay video. If you guys haven't yet seen it, there will be a link in the description below. Anyway, of course, like I said, we're meant to be getting some multiplayer gameplay pretty soon, but the question is, what are we actually going to see in that gameplay? Now, I mean, if we take a look at the official gameplay video, I mean, they just kind of showed the basics like switching characters and all that stuff. Rockstar didn't go too much in depth with that gameplay, they just kept it short and sweet. Right now, towards the end of that gameplay, of course we saw a bit of multiplayer which actually got quite a lot of people talking about it. Because I mean, multiplayer is kind of a big thing to GTA as well. So I'm going to show you guys an image right now. So as you guys can see, we have like a random dude in multiplayer and if you take a look at his surroundings, he's actually in a building, I guess you could say it's an apartment. So this actually got me thinking about property buying in multiplayer because of course we know in story mode we're going to be allowed to purchase safe houses and all that stuff businesses etc so from of course seeing this it did get me thinking like i said if we can actually do this in multiplayer now i don't see why rockstar wouldn't add this i personally think it would be a pretty awesome feature to add into multiplayer and of course when you die in multiplayer instead of like spawning at a random place probably you'll spawn back at your safe house I don't know, but by just seeing this, it kind of did get me thinking. Right, next thing is actually customization in multiplayer, and not just going on to character customization, I mean like vehicle and weapon customization. Now, of course, this would be like the first time Roxab ever did this, so I think it would be pretty awesome to add. It would just make multiplayer so much more fun than it already is. And the map's actually insanely big, so rather than like drive around in a normal car, adding stuff from story mode into multiplayer will make the game in multiplayer so much fun but that's just my opinion I mean everyone does have their own because of course we haven't seen much of the multiplayer yet I mean we only saw that couple of seconds like scene and then we just saw like the Hydra just fly past and then loads of people down below like racing and all that stuff but like I said the main question is what am I going to be expecting to see in the actual gameplay so first of all what I want to see is how we start in multiplayer like I said at the beginning of the video whether or not we actually do start in a safe house or something like that or whether we just spawn at a random place on the map secondly I want to see like some of the game modes I mean like team deathmatch GTA race normal races and all that stuff and I'm sure Rice are just gonna keep it just simple because I mean like what they did with the official gameplay they just kind of covered the basic things and one thing that I actually hated in multiplayer in GTA 4 was actually having to run around finding weapons I mean that kind of is sucked in a way so we know like the whole weapon system is gonna be like the weapon wheel in Red Dead Redemption and Max Payne so of course it's gonna be something similar to, like this in multiplayer but this got me also thinking once again is if we can have more than one of the same type of weapon for instance if we can have more than one submachine gun if that makes any sense rifles rpgs etc etc and maybe if we can have something like a weapon loadout before we actually do enter multiplayer so like a class setup or something along those lines i think that would be pretty good it would just save so much time having to run around finding weapons and then if you want that one particular weapon it could be like in the middle of the map and it would be pretty hard to go and get there. So hopefully Rockstar do actually change all these things. So to kind of sum up all that section about multiplayer expectations and the gameplay, I want to see how we have to go find weapons, how we spawn and then Rockstar just showing the basic types of game modes. I don't know, you guys tell me what you would want to see in the gameplay, multiplayer gameplay in the comment sections below. Alright, so moving on to the next topic that I wanted to talk about, which of course was cops in GTA 5. Now if we do take a look back onto GTA 4, the cops were pretty stupid I guess you could say. That's just my opinion, I mean it was pretty funny the way they kind of reacted to things, but it just completely ruined the whole realistic look. So how are they going to be in GTA 5? Now of course we have seen so many screenshots of cops and even in the more recent screenshots as I will show you guys right now of this one with Franklin and then someone getting arrested in the back getting the handcuffs put on. So maybe will we see police actually arresting random pedestrians or gang members or something along those lines? I think that will be pretty awesome because I mean we didn't really see much of this in GTA 4, Ballad of Gay Tony more or less the recent GTAs. 
I mean, all I saw was occasionally a cop chasing after some guy and the guy just got away. I mean, there was a time when they actually handcuffed someone and put them in the back of the car and this was a time where I actually got into fight with one of those big biker guys with the beards. And this was the first time I got GTA. And of course, since it was like the first GTA to have that ability to call out an emergency service, I just wanted to see how the cops would react if they saw me getting into a fight. So what I did was call 911 and then I got into a fight with one of those guys. So the cops eventually came and of course I didn't carry on punching the guy back I just wanted them to see them punching me and how they would react so the guy got out of the car he walked around and note at this time I was still being beaten up then he got back in the car and it wasn't until like a few seconds later where I actually had to run in front of the cop car he actually realized this guy's getting beaten up and he's probably gonna die so I should probably go save him and arrest the guy now it was slightly realistic the way he arrested him but I mean reaction time it wasn't really that good but anyway, I hope Rockstar do improve this in GTA 5. Like I said, seeing that screenshot, as I'll just show you guys one more time. So you could just get a good look at it. Maybe they can get people like over the bonnet, putting the handcuffs on, and then like people crowding around something like, like that. Searching them maybe for weapons or any drugs. All that I think would be pretty awesome, and I think Rocks are definitely capable of adding this into the game. But guys, I'm going to end this video, and I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to check out my channel, there will be an annotation on screen or a link in the description, wherever gets you puts it but i basically do the same i do news ideas etc etc and i just i do more or less post every day so if you guys like what you see on my channel please hit the, the subscribe button i'll be really appreciated and once again thank you gitchy 123 for allowing me to upload this and if you guys want to see more of me on this channel i don't know let gitchy know but once again guys i hope you enjoyed but until next video adios amigos